sounds delicious. Can I have a cup? I was just making that for Castle. But yeah, here. So how's Alexis? She's asleep. She's always asleep. I love her, but with Mono, she's a bit of a bore. Mm. So, you and Rick? Yes, me and Rick, so... You know, uh, you might want to put some pants on. Why? Well, it's not like I'm going anywhere. Oh. Hey, you two. What's going on? Nothing. Just making coffee. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Mm. What is this? Did you add nutmeg? Nutmeg? <laughs> <laughs> nutmeg? Whenever Rick pulled all nighter, said sprinkle nutmeg in his coffee. Mm. Gave it an extra kick. You want to try? Uh, no, thanks. I think I've had enough kick for one morning. I will be at work. Hey. Listen, um... That whole coffee thing, Meredith didn't mean anything by that. She's just trying to be thoughtful. I'm sure she was. So you're not mad? About what? About how comfortable your ex-wife is in your home and with your family, how she seems to know things about you that I don't know. Why would I be upset? Okay, see, this is why I wanted to stay to the Four Seasons, so you wouldn't have to deal with this. Kessel, I shouldn't have to deal with this because you should have said no. Yes, but I didn't, and now I can't. I know. I'll... I'll send Alexis and Meredith to the Four Seasons. I'll just hire a concierge doctor. No, Castle, I am a big girl, okay? I can be in the same place as your ex-wife. So you'll stay? Yeah, sure. I'll just be subjected to her parading around half-naked. Uh, okay, I can't wait, can I? Oh, right, because this is all about you. Well, you made it. I fight. Mm. Okay, you know what? You're right. You are absolutely right. All we have to do is get through the next few days with my crazy ex-wife. What do you say? No. No? No, not no. Noah. Keswood. 